Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Now, unfortunately, when I recorded the uh, the last chapters, so Elisha's Fury, the Lies of Nature, uh, Death and Life, uh, and then Clarity, um, unfortunately, uh, didn't didn't record properly. So, what we're going to do is just jump in uh, and replay the story, uh, and I'll I'll go through each one, and we can jump in. So. Uh, this is Dao Chan. Let's take off auto. Uh, I've never missed the freezing wind, this icy snow so much. Even if this world is full of danger, it's still ours. And wait, the gate of vitality is closed. Bastet and Arthur are still trapped inside. What do we do? Uh, we rally for support and come back to rescue them. Humans always do foolish things. Um, this is Elisha. Uh, Elisha hadn't left yet. She reaches towards the gate of vitality. Frost spreads across it, only to melt away quickly. Her plan has succeeded. You have pleased a god of chaos, and now you will be cast aside by me. Faithless souls be extinguished under my soul lantern. She does look good. Yeah. Let's go on to the next one. So this is the lies of nature. Uh, you do fight through. Uh, a couple of uh, different monsters, but absolutely fine. Let's take auto off again. Silence, my underworld has no place for the lies of the demon Gaia. She made me a promise that good things would happen every day. She said that uh, she'd bring spring and a bountiful harvest to the world, but the cold winds never stopped. Those human souls were eroded by the frost for too long. Not even the frost lilies could make them forget the fear of death. So I came to the surface. Only through slaughter can I grant those souls peace. Seems a bit uh, extreme, but sure. Uh, and I've said enough. The wind's quiet for a moment, revealing the sound of snow monsters moving. This is bad, we're surrounded. So you do fight them off. If you truly care about the survival of the humanity, uh, survival of humanity, don't interfere with my actions. <laughs> Um, yep, and then we'll watch this one. Let's go ahead and un-auto this one. So Elisha stands atop the snowy ridge, gazing down at the defenseless Camelot. This is humanity's last line of defense, a city abandoned by its king. Come with me, and I will cherish you as treasures. This place is filled with the souls of the departed. And stop. In the moment before the avalanche rushes towards Camelot, Dao Chan's music becomes the final force to oppose it. Don't you understand? Struggling hopelessly to survive like this only prevents their souls from finding peace after death. Everything I do is to help them escape this prison. In a safe and secure afterlife, all worries born of survival will fade away with life itself. We do not have to choose death. You can't stop me. And this is the final uh, chapter, I believe, uh, of well, the final part of chapter three, then we can jump into chapter four. So, why are you so stubborn? Can't you see the reality? Only death will set them free. Enough. You shouldn't talk so lightly about others' life and death. I've seen empires under tyrannical rule uh, and thought about using force to save a nation. But we didn't resort to violence. The people have suffered enough. If the country falls into chaos, who knows how many more will lose their families. I want those I care about to live with dignity in a peaceful land. Isn't that something worth striving for? Yes, absolutely. If you truly care for humanity, you should address the root of the problem. Gaia. Gaia may, uh, may make mistakes, but she will always have the right to make them, because she's not only the mother of humanity, but the mother of all gods. When she's angry, mortals can only submit and pray that her wrath will be soothed. You should abandon the thought of the overturning, uh, uh, the thought of overturning the order. Are you beat her? Impossible. I am the ruler of the underworld, the master of the dead, an immortal goddess. How could I be defeated by humans? You only know that gods can be angry. The gods have dignity to choose their own path. You only know that gods laugh at us as we struggle against the eternal with our fragile bodies. But did you know that we too can feel anger? On my journey I've witnessed too much misfortune. How many homes have been crushed by the snow? How many families have lost their last source of livelihood? We are be uh, living beings too, with blood and flesh. Humans shouldn't have thoughts like this. You are too strong. Your physical strength has made you mentally weak. 
allowing you to see only the suffering before you. But humanity's weakness forces us to carry more as we move forward, making us mentally stronger. Elisha, it's time for you to choose. Guys, my kin, I shouldn't oppose her, but she is abusing her power, slaughtering the weak. Make your choice and don't let it be one you'll regret. My choice is... <gasps> <laughs> that's where it stopped last time so we did end on a cliffhanger now um, let's jump into chapter four so jump in chapter four in Gaia's new world Arthur and Bastet are still fighting with all they have normally the enemies my knights and I face are either humans or snow monsters they are re reasonable opponents I can just incapacitate them temporarily or use a bit more force if needed but these monsters in the front of us have no heads no limbs stop overthinking it just aim for its disgusting parts first well said <laughs> struggle all you want in the end you'll rest like the infinites beneath the soil becoming nutrients for the new world. I'll never surrender to a venomous witch like you. I've been more than tolerant, yet you remain so ungrateful. My children, wave your vines and teach these primitives some manners. So let's go ahead, jump in. We'll take out these two, and let's pop in Bastet and Arthur. And let's see, <laughs> let's see how well uh, these two do. Um, so I think these are absolutely fine. Don't really have uh, much much to go on, but I think this is absolutely fine as well. We can take you out uh, and let's pop in you as well. Let's pop Arthur on this front row and just see how well he does. Yep, battle. I've been enjoying Arthur, although his passive is um, a bit confusing at times, to say the least. And then Bastet finish things off. Looks easy enough for these two. The weight on my shoulders makes it hard to breathe. Perhaps in the next moment I won't be able to lift my sword anymore. Ooh, he's a bit moany, isn't he? Throughout this entire story, he's been on the floor and out of breath and... Meh. He's doing his best, though. <laughs> the refugees sheltered behind them let out terrified cries. No, I made the wrong decision. I must shoulder this responsibility and turn the tide, even if it means charging at those vile monsters and perishing together, even if this battle holds no honour. Don't be so pessimistic. I believe the Omni Guardian is out there seeking help for us. Think of your country, of your people. Yes, we are destined to face death, but it can't be at this moment. Let us regain our confidence. Strength will surge from our determined hearts. Thank you for my encouragement. My arms seem to feel a bit stronger. My life is not yet extinguished. and Let's continue to fight. About time. So the purpose behind the shield is so long as um, so long as Arthur stays alive, Bastet too will stay alive. So looks like the uh, the splash axe, uh, splash axe worked quite well. Easy enough. Let's push through. Again, I've got I've got half an hour worth of um, worth of gameplay that I uh, I released. Um, so if you do want to go and see Arthur, go check that out. But for now, we'll skip through. Just get straight to this story. What a resilient life force. This is precisely the nourishment I need. Perhaps we don't have to be enemies. Maybe I can allow you to live. In Gaia's hand, her most cherished relic appears, the Vanquisher. All I need to do is sever your wings and trim away the pestilence clinging to your souls. And then you can transform into new beings, guardians of the new world. How wonderful it is. Indulge my boundless creativity. Huh? <laughs> Gaia pauses, turning her gaze towards the gate of vitality. 
On the snow-covered plains of the old world, two famili familiar figures suddenly appear. It's the Omni-Guardian and Dio-Chan. Evil woman, we're back. You should call me mother. How disgusting. You can't escape the gaze of the gods. Since your end is near, you might as well enjoy a sweet slumber in my embrace. And then why don't you make a move? Are you afraid? You. <laughs> In that case, we'll strike first. Let me unlock your gate of vitality with my music. And you choose death willingly, so become decay and serve as my soil. Oof. So let's take out these two. Let's pop in Sal and let's pop in Diochem. There we go. Looks fine to me. And we even get the Astral Dragon as well. <laughs> Taken down right away. Easy enough. I hear it. The Omni Guardian is calling for me. He has returned with reinforcements. Is he attacking the Gate of Vitality? Yes, we need to coordinate our actions and launch an attack on the Gate of Vitality together. Come on, raise those aching arms once more. This time, victory awaits us ahead. So let's keep battling. I'm not sure whether or not we should be playing Arthur or not, but we are out on the streets, so I suspect... We're outside the gate of vitality at this point in the story, with these two fighting alongside each other. Hmm. The final blow, the music lands. We did it, the gate is open. The gate of vitality sways, reconnecting the old and new worlds. Omni Guardian, you truly did it. Quick, everyone, return to our world at once. We are saved, we are saved. Hurry up, I can't stay in this wretched new world for a second longer. And this is impossible. How can mortal strength harm the creations of the gods? As guys' incredible whispers fill the air, people rush towards the other side of the gate. Stay, obey the command of the gods. Everyone stay back. Elisha, now is the time. I can't believe this. So at this point, I would use Elisha, if I could, but I can't, unfortunately. It is what it is. So let's carry on. Should be this one. This is 414. So we might even get a cutscene here. We'll see. What a precise strike, Elisha. Incredible mortals witness my choice, my answer. Elisha, how dare you raise your weapon against the mother of gods? Have you been swayed by those mortals? You are the one deceiving me. I have seen the truth. Darkness will no longer blind my eyes. Then go ahead and give it a try. The one who wins in the end will still be me. And Elisha, you still have us. My sword will tear apart the night before the dawn. Don't worry, my music will keep you alert. As you wish, the epic battle between Mother of Earth and Ruler of the Underworld begins now. But not really. It... It doesn't, does it? Because we can't gain access to these characters. What I don't understand is why do we not have... Um, why do we not have auto-filled spaces 
in this story mode. For example, have Arthur, have Diochan, have Bastet as characters in here, have Elisha, just to make the immersion a bit better in the story. That's my opinion on it anyway. For now, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and use, we'll just leave it as is, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. <laughs> what an epic battle to end things off. <laughs> One spider left. You cannot, are not allowed to escape from my grasp. Everyone strike together. No! <laughs> With everyone working together, guys pushed back into the new world. The gate of vitality slowly closes, sealing her miraculous curse behind it. Among my noble kin, there is a traitor. I will always, always, always watch you from another world. Chaos and destruction, misfortune will not overlook your smallest mistakes. And boom, the gate of vitality collapses completely, banishing Gaia for good. We did it. Evil has been expelled, and we have defended our land. Uh, this is a feat that moves heaven and earth, mortals. This victory crowns your courage. But the crisis is not over yet. You must not let your guard down. You all heard her curse before she departed. The safety of the world depends on your protection. Let her come for me. I won't let her harm my people. If the living are taken by Gaia, my underworld will lose its meaning. I will watch over this world with them. And I, after the hard-fought battle, you need a triumphant song to lift your spirits. And I have never, <laughs> never tried the entertainment of the living before. Life always offers countless firsts, even for the gods. If you'd like, I can teach you to play after you release those trapped souls from the soul lantern. They are free, or they are now free, but I think I'll pass on your offer. And why, it's these vivid experiences that fill us with passion for life. Let's go, it's time to return. The ice and snow have melted, and those who have been away for so long ascend the hill, witnessing the spring all around them. In distance, banners of Camelot flutter. The guards blow their horns to welcome the heroes home. Not bad. I, I very much enjoyed that story. That was a cool story. I uh, very much liked it indeed. Uh, I think they should carry on. Quite philosophical, really. Uh, a bit more philosophical than uh, than previous ones. Uh, <laughs> Specifically the one with um, Ophelia and Elowin at the end. That, I think that was my favourite cutscene, to be fair. If you were around for season two, I think it was, or maybe season one, you know. Uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic cutscene. One of my favourites. Uh, but they don't do them like that anymore, unfortunately. So it's what it is. Thanks very much for watching. And I do hope you have a fantastic day. And let me know down below what you think. If you're not subscribed already, please do. Uh, and if you are subscribed... Go and tell other people about this channel who play the game as well. Thanks very much for watching. You have a great day.